Listen, when you have a kid, your life changes. It's hard, but it sort of, it makes me the man I am. My baby, when he's 20, and say to his mates when someone goes, oh, how about the rumble on the rock? Oh yeah, my dad before on that show, do you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's things like that, that are, and being part of history or shows like that, because you can say, I done it and I was there. For me, regaining the British title will be a massive part of my recovery. When I lost the um, British title is when I was at the start of my recovery from coming out of rehab. But now, nah, life's back in order. I got my win last year against Sam again. Ted Cheeseman! I've got a lovely family. I couldn't wish for much more other than getting that British title back now. That'll be sort of the icing on the cake. By winning this fight, I think it's going to open a lot of big doors and a lot of big opportunities. Yeah, I just did in the caravan. I stay out here just because, you know, get a bit of peace from the kids and don't get woken up in the night. I'm back in at nine, so I have to get my run done as well. The session with me dad, hard work, so you want to aim as much rest as possible before it. Yeah, it's a big fighting city. We've had loads of good fighters, and to get named in the top few would be, be a big achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, from Goodison Park, Liverpool, that was brilliant, yeah. I was hoping to get on a bit earlier, but I was a floater at the time. And, um, you know, I was straight on after Tony Bellew. I was getting told I mightn't get on because they had to be out the venue at a certain time. And it was meant to be an eight rounder. It got cut down to four. And um, I was outside the ring and Tony was on the mic. And I couldn't get him off it. And then um, finally got off. He apologised, said, sorry lad. And then um, cracked on and um, got the job done. It's a massive belt, the British title. You know, it's a belt that I've been wanting to win for a long time. I've seen other fighters in the city win it, and you know, I'd love to get my hands on it. I made up, finally got the opportunity. I should have had the opportunity three years ago. So it um, hasn't been the best few years, but it's finally coming now. The difference between us two is I'm a, a lot younger man, but I'm a twice, three times experienced as um, James Metcalf. This is my eighth championship 12 round in a row. Do you know what I mean? And what a life it's been over the last 18 months for Ted Cheeseman. There aren't many fighters in British boxing who've been tested more. Everyone knows my fight's always at a torrid pace. Do you know what I mean? And when it gets tough, I've, got, I've knuckled down and, and bit down on the gum shield and like, got tough with it. But, with James Metcalf, he, he's coming into unknown territory having to do that. So now you're going to see what's going to happen when he gets a bit tough for him. Will he be able to push that pace? Because I've never seen James Metcalf out of his comfort zone. Well, I've seen him inspire this person. Well, I've seen him inspire that person. Well, all right, you've got a head guard on. You've not made 11 stone. You ain't got 10 ounce gloves on. It's a total different situation. When I make that 11 stone, when I put them 10 ounce gloves on and I get in there for a 12 rounder, everyone knows what they're getting. They know it's going to be a tough night's nice work. But do we know that with James Metcalf? We're going to find that, obviously, on the 27th. Fights have, have been the one forcing the fight. I think we can both box a bit, and I think we'll, um, you know, might start off a bit cagey, but at some point it will catch fire. Yeah. I think it could be the fight of the night, definitely. It's on a massive show, um, sky the zone. To get that that audience would be brilliant. I just put like past that I've been been through, sort of to make it worthwhile. Obviously, he's an unbeaten fighter. He's 21 and 0 by opponents, there's not really, 
There's no one of my caliber on there. And this is his fight to find out how good he really is. He's either going to be exceptional or he's going to have found his level. Ted's definitely the, the biggest test so far. You know, whatever way it goes, they're going to get a def definitely good fight. I'm visualising constantly through the day, thinking about how the fight's panning out. And every way I look at it, I win. I don't see anything that he does better than me. My heart's fully there, my head's fully there, and physically, I'm, I'm in unbelievable shape. They can expect someone who's put the work in. They're not going to roll over, and, you know, I've got, there's no quit in me, and I'm going to go and win. There's no point in disrespectful to him, all the best to him. I hope training's going well for him, and may the best man win on the night, but I believe that'll be me.